Oh, what's good, YouTube? It's your video, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm bringing y'all a mini scheme. And so, yeah, so let's hop straight into the video. All right, y'all, man. Today's video, the mini scheme we're going to be running is going to be out of Gun Box. I believe this is a Buccaneers playbook exclusive. But if it's not, just go ahead and check the description, man. As usual, the playbooks that have these plays in it in the formation will be down below in the description. So be sure to check that out. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all four plays, man. It's going to be deep fork out of this formation. Um, PA read, slants, and inside zone, man. Because y'all know every single, every single time I do one of these videos, man, I always have to have at least one run play um, just for purposes of they can't drop 10,000 people in coverage to guard everything and stuff like that. You always need a run play in your schemes, whether it's like no matter what type of run play it is. Right here, we just have a basic inside zone. Yeah, so let's hop straight into the setup. All right, y'all, man. First things first, the first play we're going to hop into is going to be the deep fork play. Now, there's two ways you can call this play. Right now, I am going to get to cover three. But the first way being streaking R1 uh, to get that corner route open works against any coverage in the game. But the other way that you can run this play is you streak X, and this deep post will get open against all cover three coverages. Um, and cover threes only, no other coverages will get open um, when you streak X and leave that deep post on the field. Um, that deep post isn't going to get open at all against any cover two, cover fours, or even a man coverage. I doubt it gets open either. But if you streak R1 like I'm about to show you here, I will be showing both ways. But it gets open against any single uh, any coverage in the game. The only way that, that they can stop this is if they have a cornerback who is better than the receiver running the corner out. So let me go ahead and streak R1. And so boom. And the beautiful thing about this formation is it has four receivers on the field. That's the best thing about this formation. And all you want to do is look to that corner route. Um, they did get a little stuck right there, but usually that doesn't happen. But yeah, that's the reason why I like this formation so much is because with this motion, it creates a bunch and it's three receivers. I mean, it's four. It's a four receiver set. So me meaning that there's three receivers in the bunch and then you have your X receiver here out wide. And this route does get open against man coverage as long as they don't have um, the cornerback doesn't have any one step ahead or anything like that. Um, this out route does get open as well. So the, let me show y'all this one more time. So boom. Boom. Just look to that corner route. Pass him towards the sideline. And that's going to be an easy dot every time. Now let me show you this streak. I mean, when I streak X for this deep post. Um, show you how many yards this gets as well deep down the field. So all you want to do is streak X instead of streaking R1. Oh, wow. I got no blocking on towards the right side of the field. Um, let me show you that one more time if I can get some blocking. So boom. Just like this. Wow. He keeps coming off the edge. So we're going to do some blocking assignments over there just so I can show y'all. But if y'all watch right there, that deep post getting open down the field. Um, he was wide open by his cell. So boom. All right. Now we should be good on this play. Yep. So he was able to block him. Easy dot deep down the field, no matter what. The only problem with it is, as y'all can clearly see, is if you don't get enough time, you're not going to be able to get that off. And those that those are the two ways to run this play. It does work against it works against any coverage. Um, you want it to work against man. Like I said, if they call man coverage, you want to look towards the left side of the field from this out route. They call any type of zone. Go ahead, streak R1. Look towards this corner route. And if they're in cover three, and you need a big one play bomb. Um, street X and look for um, R1 on the post down the field and if you need something underneath this out route even gets open as well um, Especially if that linebackers chip chipping this um, Receiver right here. Um, he'll definitely get open on the outside of the field and that's to wrap it up for this play Let's hop into the next one All right, y'all man now for the second play in this mini scheme It is gonna be the PA replay and this play um, works against most coverages, man. Um, the reason why I like this play so much is because of this double move right here. I'm um, going across the middle of the field. If you get enough time in the pocket, man, it should develop and get open. If not, we have some other reads that you can make on the field, man. Um, so first things first, you want to start by streaking R1, putting an X on a curl, and taking square, put him on a drag route. And this is the look that you want to do. Now for this play, you just have you just have a bunch of high low reads, man. Um, if they come bite down on the curl, you have the over the top in this double move post. If they come bite down on the drag, you also have the post. Um, if they stay over the top for the post, you have the curl and the drag underneath. Um, and if they have their flats playing too far back, um, you can go ahead and hit the flat off this play action right here. Um, and this play is just about making the right reads, man, and just not throwing an interception. 
Um, and this play is also hard for a user to guard itself because they have to pick one of these routes. And if they same goes for the CPU, goes for a user. If they pick one, just go ahead and hit the other. So let me go ahead and call HUT. Boom. Make a read. As y'all can clearly see, that linebacker is dropping back for that double move. Go ahead, low ball in that curl. Easy 10-yard gain every single time. Let me show y'all that one more time. So streak R1. Put X on the curl. Square on the drag. Boom. Call HUT. Look at that. He came down for the curl. Look at that big gain over the top from that double move on the right side of the field, man. And that's all you have to do for this play is you have to be able to make the right reads. Notice when the CPU is dropping down on that curl um, and when they hit over the top. And notice when that the CPU is sticking with the double move and go ahead and lowball that curl route. And you should get a completion every single time. So let me show you one more time and then we can head into the next play. So streak R1, curl X, square on a drag, boom. Just like that. And then as y'all can clearly see in match coverage, <laughs> in match coverage, man, absolutely kills it. That double move. As long as you get enough time, you're going to be able to throw that dot every single time, man. Let's go ahead and hop into the next play. All right, y'all, man. The last and final pass play out of this mini scheme is going to be the slants play. And this play is your man beater, man. I run this all the time against people who play man coverage against me. Um, it gets open against no matter what they do, whether they're putting flats from the safeties or whatever. You just have to be able to make the right read. And the key thing about this, man, is you it's one adjustment is you take X and you put him on a zig route. Now, as far as the halfback goes, I suggest leave him on this bubble. If you're not getting enough time in the pocket, go ahead, block him. So me personally, just because I want more time in the pocket, I'm going to go ahead, block him. And then now all you have to do is... Um, your first read is always going to be the zig. If this zig, this zig, nine times out of ten, if your receiver is good enough, has good enough route running, um, he should be able to beat that corner on the inside. If not, go ahead and look to these slants, man. These slants get open against man coverage all day long. And if you do have a high route master QB, you can take R1 and put him on a crosser just like this. And now you have something to go over the top and you just don't have straight slants on the field. And so, boom. Go ahead, call Hut. Boom. As y'all can clearly see, man, that zig is going to get you a completion every single time. Um, no matter if they're playing over the top, outside, inside, this zig is going to get open. Um, so let me show y'all that one more time. Um, and the crosser is not necessary. I just like to do it because I have the option to do it. So if you have the option to do it, feel free to go ahead and do it um, yourself. But boom. Look how open that zig gets, man. And if I get a better running catch animation, I can go for way more yards than I just went. And if you have a fast receiver size, better receiver right there, you can easily, easily get way more yards than that. Especially if you go to the extent of taking this, your number one receiver, putting him right here. And if he has a route tech or something like that, he's going to get open every single time against man coverage. And there's not going to be anything the, the user can do about it besides putting the hard flats on the field. And that's when you look over the top from that either crosser or a slant getting over the top of those flats. So boom. Look at that one more time. Beats him to the outside. Huge, huge game, man. You want to call this play every single time you see your opponent coming out. And, man, and that's the reason why I love this formation so much because it has a play to beat every single coverage within this game, man. And like I said before previously in one of the other plays is you can motion this guy here, and now you have a three-wide receiver blunt, man. That's absolutely overpowered. And then now you can still do the same setup but now you just have this receiver on the inside and i know the cpu is in like a dumb coverage in this man up three deep but i'm just showing y'all this like against man coverage so it doesn't really matter too too much um and so yeah now you have a look like this and now that this slant is coming from the inside it's going to be able to beat that cornerback way easier and way quicker man so boom show y'all one last time and then we grab the video boom just go ahead and look to the other side of the field if the right side of the field isn't open and just you just got to be able to make your reads and not throw to the user in the middle of the field. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then for the last and final play, it's just going to be an inside zone play. Nothing too crazy, man. I just, like I said in the intro, I just like to have a run play within every single mini scheme. Um, I show you all just so y'all don't be out here calling straight pass plays, throwing interception after interception because they're dropping too many people back in coverage or coming out in dime sets and stuff like that the whole game. So, boom. Very, very simple run play. Not the best, but not the worst. Um, if y'all play this game a lot, y'all know inside zones work very, very well in Madden 22 next gen. Um, as, far, as far as current gen goes, all these plays work, except for the inside zone doesn't work as good as it works in next gen. Um, but as long as you are able to run the ball, man, and pose that as a threat, 
to the opposing team, man, you should be good. That's really all this play is in here for, just so they can't continue to pass, commit, pass, commit, pass, commit, and stuff like that. And yeah, so let me show you this one more time. Like I said, it's not the best um, run play in the world, but it's pretty solid, if you ask me. And that should cap off the video right there. All right, y'all, man. If y'all enjoyed this mini scheme, make sure y'all hit that like button. If y'all added this formation to y'all playbook, please be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to sub up and turn that post notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post a vid. And comment down below what type of vids you'd like to see from me in the future. It's your boy, Bean, and I'm out. Jump in the coop and go top speed. I can't believe that they cross me. Young nigga be shining like all.